Allison. Can you explain what internet is? Yes, I love technology. Pretty amazing. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. Hey guys, Mr. Ogden here. Today we're going to design your dream home using floorplanner.com. These are the requirements that you'll need to have when you design your home. Start by going to floorplanner.com and creating an account. Click sign up. For your email, just do your first, first name dot last name at scanwarriors.com and then your password. All right, when you sign in, you'll see your name in the top right hand corner. Feel free to watch this tutorial video on the on the Hello, this is Nico. <clears throat> on Floor Planner. There's more of them on YouTube. If you want to go to open it up, click this button right here. It'll open up on YouTube, and then there's more videos. Nico. And welcome to Floor Planner. There's more tutorials that you can watch if you are interested in those. If you feel like you want to try it without the tutor uh, tutorials, then that's fine as well. Start by cl clicking Create New Project. Click on house, just title it your name. Start with one floor, you can add more later, and then click create project. You can start the tour, or it'll show you all the buttons, or you can close out. And for starters, we're gonna draw a room. So just click and drag. You can zoom in and zoom out right here. This is 2D mode. If you want to go to 3D mode, you just click on the button in the top right corner. Now we're in 3D. You can click and drag and move it around. Let's say you wanted to add a title for this living room. Go back to 2D mode. Go to the tools here. Click set room type. Dining room. Click and drag or living room. Click and drag. It says living room. If you zoom in, living. So let's say you wanted to add a couch. Go back and go to the paintbrush. There's different colors you can add to the room. Say you want to add a couch. We can add a couch and rotate it, duplicate it. Now we have two couches. If we want to add the size of the couch, we can mess with these settings down here. Click on 3D mode to see what it looks like. Click and drag around. Kind of looks more like a bed because of the way we stretched it. But basically all your tools are going to be over here on the left hand side. If you mess up you can always press undo or redo. And so everything that you're going to be doing is going to be over here. If you want to add different stairs you can look at this stuff. If you want to do <clears throat> draw lines or add signs or all kinds of fun stuff. You can add these onto your walls. You can play with all kinds of tools. So just remember that you need to always go back to Google Classroom and look at these things and add them to your dream home. You can add other things as well, but these are the minimum requirements. Don't forget to save it. Click Save and it'll say Done with the check mark that means it is saved if you have any questions let me know